Ducted air conditioning. What is it, what to expect, and why you should or shouldn't have ducted air conditioning unit installed in your home and your office. A ducted air conditioning unit is a singular ducted centralized unit which can be positioned in your loft, concealed in a room, or concealed into some kind of fitted furniture or wardrobe. It predominantly is connected to one outdoor unit or multiple ducted units from a single or multiple condensers. So what exactly is the unit? So it's a metal looking box and it's pretty ugly, but it's covered and concealed so it can go straight into your loft space and feed multiple rooms or singular rooms being covered by a duct. So the duct in will connect to the unit, which will then have a grill on the other end. The overall benefit immediately is the fact that there is no units on the internal walls, whether that's downstairs or upstairs. This sometimes can be an issue with people when they want a discreet solution. Ducted air conditioning unit and why to go ducted. When we install multiple units into a property, let's say a house, multiple wall mounts, we have multiple units on the wall, multiple sets of pipes, multiple holes for walls, and a lot more labour per unit. With a ducted, it's usually one unit, one set of pipes, all inside that loft space being fed from an outdoor unit. It's much less labour intrusive and much less disruptive to your house or to your office space. The ducted solution is a great solution for somebody that wants heating and cooling in perhaps bedrooms or office spaces and not actually seeing anything in the room. Usually you would just see round grills or sometimes rectangular grills. The ducted solution, let's go for a few of the negatives. The first negative is we do tend to class ducted units as comfort cooling and comfort heating. Most units only cool to 18 or 19 degrees, where most wall mounts and floor mounted systems do go down to 16 degrees. So those that want to be super cold, this solution might not be for you. Secondly, if you are thinking of having a loft conversion or storing the loft, storing items in the loft, your Christmas trees or old suitcases, bear in mind that the ducted solution is going to take up some space. If you're looking for a ducted central unit, so one unit in the loft covering multiple bedrooms, bear in mind the only thermostatic control will be from the controller in the largest bedroom, which is normally the master bedroom. That will be the thermostat, where we will then balance the airflow into the smaller rooms by adjusting the grills or reducing the duct size. For those that want multiple control in multiple rooms with ducted, you will need a ducted solution per room. So not one unit doing several rooms, you'll need a ducted unit doing each bedroom. When we're looking at multiple ducted units from a single multi-condenser, the cost is significantly higher than the wall mounted solution. The pros of ducted air conditioning units. Number one, it's a neater installation. Less holes through walls. We can sometimes put trunking outside in a neater location rather than having lots of trunking up the side of the houses. Where we do a lot of installs, sometimes having wall mounts do mean that you have lots of trunking outside. With a ducted solution, we can be really precise where we leave the soffit or leave brickwork gable walls. We can cover the whole of the upstairs of a house off usually one unit. Okay, less control, but when you're talking about a big cost saving, it makes total sense to go for a single ducted unit. Yeah, control isn't everything for some people. If you have a small room which has guests in and rarely used, having a central ducted unit is perfect. Why spend a couple of thousand or 1,000, 2,000, 300,000 pounds, whatever you want to call it, doing singular rooms where we can just have a single unit which provides some air, cold and warm. We've done solutions where we've done entire bungalows of one or two ducted units and the customer has been astonished with the results. Who needs loft space? So we store less things these days and the reality is if you've got a loft and it's pretty empty and you're not using it for anything, stick a loft unit up there. The ducted unit is perfect solution if you've got an unused loft. Just bear in mind if you are having a loft conversion, the ducted solution may not be for you. My opinion on ducted air conditioning units in houses? This ducted solution is perfect for those that want a super neat installation with less wall acne. I love that term wall acne because it is. If we do wall mounts, it's wall acne. Let's, res let's restrict the amount of wall acne and let's go ducted. I always say that. It's not perfect for those who want super, super cold rooms. I'd probably say in the summer, 
if we have got central units or multiple ducted units, it's normal when the ambient is 30 to 35 degrees, the internal room temps are between 20 and 22. Sometimes that's not cold enough for some people. And on that basis, experience tells us that you should go wall mounted. Carrying out hundreds of these installations, customers love the cost savings. They love the cost savings and they're not fussed about having multiple temperature controllers in the room if it means they're saving money or they're cooling and heating rooms that they're not always in use. So just bear that in mind. I personally love it. A lot of manufacturers, they don't like this solution because they want to sell your multi-split with several wall mounts, which means the cost is higher. When we're using split type ducted units and staying away from the multi-condenser, the cost saving is there. That's why I love the ducted solution, but it's not for everyone. Another little con, it's not a con, but it's worth mentioning, is with a ducted unit, the old ways of control and the old ways of functionality did mean that the fans used to switch off. There are very few units that allow you to do this now, but it's something that we get called out about a lot. The indoor unit is still running once it's reached set point. The indoor fan will go to a standby because it does need to draw air across the unit for it to work properly and to monitor the temperature of the air properly. So it will stay on. Is it noisy? No, but we have had clients say, I can still hear the fan slightly. It's a little buggy and it can be a little frustrating, but that's just the way it works. And also it stays efficient. Some frequently asked questions. My loft isn't boarded, can I have a ducted unit? Yes, we can suspend the unit or we can fit off the floor joists. We prefer suspending them from the joists because it allows us to do a nice natural drain for the condensate, eliminating noisy pumps. My loft is boarded, is this okay? Perfectly fine. Makes our life a bit difficult, cutting through the boards for our grills into the rooms, but you can have it. Can you have hotel grills? Yes, you can, but your joists dictate the size and shape of the grills. The long linear grills you see in hotels are usually in plasterboard above doors where they make them to suit the grills. Whereas when you're looking at going for a ceiling, unfortunately what tends to happen is we are dictated to by joist layout. So if they're going one way and you want them facing the other way, the answer is probably gonna be no. We prefer round grills, which allow us to control the airflow and also neater and out the way locations for, for installation. Can the ducts be positioned out the way? Yes, but we need to keep the ducts under six meters long. If we're going up and down, up and down, we're gonna try and talk you out of that. Don't look at that. Look at keeping the ducts as short as possible because it'll make the unit much more effective, much more efficient. Why would you have a ducted unit over a wall mount or floor mount? I think I've picked this point up, but a ducted unit is neater, less wall acne, less drilling, less mess, and you get to see less of your AC installer. But bear in mind, it doesn't get as cold. So you've gone ahead with a ducted installation. What can you expect next? Well, for a little while, if you've gone for a single unit to multiple bedrooms, you may find that some of the rooms aren't as cold as you'd like, and you may need to get your installer or us back to adjust the airflow in the grills to get more air out. Or it's working perfectly. You're happy that you've made a big saving. Your house is fully cooled and fully heated upstairs from a ducted unit. And we'll see you in a year's time for the maintenance. A few add-ons. Ducted units can go on the app. You can have handheld controllers, which are ugly. Don't go for the handheld controllers. Go for the fixed wall controllers. The fixed wall controllers can be touchscreen. They can be physical, physical push buttons. They give us much more control as engineers and they give the client much more options. The handheld controllers win thread, they're all out of date and they're all pretty ugly across all ranges. If you're a manufacturer and you'll say your handheld controller is not ugly, I challenge you to a duel because you lie. They are all pretty ugly. Go for the hardwired controller. Some manufacturers do wireless sensors, which are pretty smart, but like most things, batteries do go and when they do go, it's a phone call and it's usually a call out. I'd go for the hardwired controllers with the remote sensors and I'd fit them into the return air grills. I really hope this video has been helpful on ducted air conditioning units, why and why you shouldn't have them versus a wall mount or a floor mount, or even a ceiling cassette. Like and subscribe and we'll keep up with the content. Have a great day, folks.